Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my January favorites video and I haven't done a favorites video in a while and I really started liking some newer products this month so I just kind of wanted to do a favorites video for you guys and today is January 27th. I don't know when I'm going to get this up but um, I can't believe that it's almost February like that's crazy honestly but yeah I'm in like a really sparkly crazy shirt it just reminds me of new year's because it's all like glittery i don't know but it's from forever 21 and yeah let's just get started so first for face products um my mom is calling me so i want an oreo mcflurry yeah it's 69 we're probably gonna go to starbucks later so that's why i just want a mcflurry For face products, I'm pretty sure that I've talked about these three before, but these three together literally, like, just make your face look flawless, and I absolutely love them together. So, for foundation, I use the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This is in medium. It's kind of, like, a little dark for me right now, but it still works, and honestly, this is, like, the best thing ever. I really like it, and it's my favorite, so seriously, if you haven't tried the BB Cream by Maybelline, I really really recommend it and then the Rimmel Matte Perfection Concealer I'm in 230 Fair Light and it's just like a little tube kind of thing and it has like a brush applicator and I've honestly gone through like three of these and I'm almost done with this one I love this concealer so much it's seriously I just put it under my eyes and then on any blemishes and it honestly just blends out so good and it's just literally the best concealer I've ever used, and it's literally like 3 or $4, along with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I just get in transparent, and um, it has a little crown like how cute is that? But I absolutely love this powder. I've been using this for like ever, and this is just literally the best powder ever, and it's like $3, I think. Sorry, my nails are chipping, but... I really recommend this powder, and it's so cheap, and it's honestly amazing, and I've just been obsessed with the e.l.f. powder brush. I just use this for my foundation, and it's just like a dense powder brush. I don't know. It's so soft, and it's honestly like $3, so it's pretty inexpensive, and then for a really long time, like, I mean a really long time, I stopped wearing blush. Like, I wear it, I wore it during the summer, and then I honestly just stopped wearing it. Like, I don't really know why. I just, like, would be in a rush in the morning before school, so I was like, yeah, I'm not going to put it on, like, I don't have time. And then I just, like, got into this habit, and I would never put on blush. But I have been obsessed with this blush, and it is honestly from Love & Beauty by Forever 21. And it's just, like, a peachy pink color. And this was, I think, like, 280 or something really cheap. And I'm, like, obsessed with it. I'm wearing it right now just a little bit, but it's a really nice natural blush. And I seriously love it, and it was so inexpensive, so... I really recommend that. For eyes, I have a new favorite eye primer, and it is the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. It's just... My cat is in here at midnight. Okay. It's just the NYX Eye Primer, and um, it's just like this. It's just a doe foot applicator, and I honestly like this one. This is like $7, and the Urban Decay one is like $22. Midnight. Literally. The Urban Decay Primer is like $22, and this one is like $7. And I like this so much better. It's not as creamy as the Urban Decay one. Even with the Urban Decay one, my eyeshadows would crease. But with the NYX one, they don't. And this is like a third of the price. So seriously, I recommend this primer so, so much. If you need a new eye primer or you just want to try one out, the NYX one is honestly amazing. For eyeshadows, I've been loving my Naked 3 palette. Of course, I honestly love the brush. I didn't think that I would like it because... It has like a flat shader brush, and then this side I didn't really know what I would do with, but I honestly like use, oh, I should have just came out. I honestly use this side for everything, whether if it's like crease, outer corner, I just hit myself in the eye. <laughs> crease, outer corner, like blending, highlighting, it's just literally like the best brush, you can use it for everything. And I love the colors, because they're just like pink toned shadows, and they're all wearable, honestly. Um, I really like Burnout, I think it's a really pretty like pinky color and strange is good limit and nooner are really good like crease and outer corner colors and um i love dark side that's probably my favorite eyeshadow in the whole palette it's this color right here it is perfect for deepening up the crease i'm not wearing it today but honestly it is like the best outer corner or crease color it's seriously 
amazing and I, rec I just freaking love it so okay and then I've been obsessed with filling in my eyebrows it's okay so I use the Naked Basics palette and oh my god how did that happen okay and I use the color faint and honestly I have like brush marks all over it but I love using this with the elf eyeliner brush I don't know why this is an eyeliner brush but I just like you can kind of see it. I just put it right here like just right in there and then I top off the excess and then I just fill in my eyebrows and honestly I love it again this is an eyeliner brush but I love using it to fill in the like beginning of my eyebrows and stuff and then I just brush them out with the elf eyelash and brow wand and both of these brushes are a dollar so they're really affordable and then I just set it with my great lash clear brush off from Maybelline and I've been obsessed with using those for my eyebrows and then I've been loving this Jordana eyeliner and it's the Fabu liner liquid eyeliner it's just like an eyeliner pen it's just like that it is so black and I believe it's like two or three dollars it is so inexpensive and it's honestly amazing and it's just so easy to create a thin line with and I just seriously love it and I recommend it so so much and yeah and then I love layering mascaras so I've been obsessed with layering these three so first is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara I uh, why did I say this word I was like butterfly okay anyway I bought this for myself and I fell in love with it but it's honestly like amazing this is the wand it is so so cool and I freaking love it it's literally the best mascara, definitely the best one from the drugs. And I love laying it with these two, which first is the Buxom Lash. And I've been obsessed with this mascara forever. It has a really, really cool wand. It just looks like that. This is really good for separation and volume. And then the Benefit There Real, which is so good for thickening and lengthening and everything. And I took the stopper out. And it's this is a wand and it has like the little spikies on the ends so you can get into your inner lashes and honestly when you layer the three of these it makes your eyelashes look so 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 good um I'm wearing it today on my eyelashes I didn't make it like super dramatic because I did my makeup kind of in a hurry today but these three mascaras together are honestly amazing and oh my gosh I can't I literally just recommend them so so much and they're absolutely flawless and then for lip products I've been loving the hemp's lips herbal lip balm this has spf 15 and it honestly smells like lemons and it's so moisturizing and so like smooth and i don't know i just love 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 this lip balm so much so i really recommend that and then i've been obsessed with these two lip balms and they're both like tinted lip balms so i've been really into these lately so this is the baby lips in cherry me i honestly love this so what i'm wearing right now and you can make it like a really light pinky color or you can really build it up to like a red so I've been loving that. And then I've been loving the NYX Butter Lip Balm. I keep one of these in my purse. This one is in Parfait, which is like kind of a bright pink. So I mean, it's not really a wintry color, but I honestly don't care. Like, I don't. I love these. They smell so good. They're like a really nice sweet smell, and I really, really like them. So that is it for like my makeup favorites. And then for hair, the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This one is a sassy and daring wild like leopard one. This one is my favorite. It smells so good. Like so good. Oh my gosh. But honestly this big bottle is like $8. Which seems like a little pricey. But it's honestly like the best dry shampoo out there. This is like the best thing I've ever used in my life. And it smells so good. And it blends into your hair so easily. The Dove and all the other ones I have to like work and work and work into my hair. This one blends into your hair and soak up, soaks up the oil so easily oh my gosh literally if you use dry shampoo you need to try this you can get like a little baby one for like three or four dollars at Ulta and you're going to try it and I promise you you're going to fall in love with it and you're going to be like how did I ever use anything else in my life because this is honestly so perfect so Batiste dry shampoo basically life so yeah um that was my january favorite sorry this video was so long but i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and feel free to leave me some requests down below because i need some new video ideas from you guys besides like makeup collection room tour and everyday makeup routine and follow me on instagram it's always linked in the down bar and also you can ask me questions on my ask.fm i will link that down below as well um it's just ask.fm slash hopefulguru and 
yeah, I answer questions pretty frequently on there, so you can ask me questions on there and follow me on Instagram and subscribe, and basically we're best friends. So, yeah, I love you guys so much. Bye. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, what's the one called? Okay. So, um, because... I don't know. Literally? Sorry about that. Yeah, midnight. Literally, could you not? Oh my god.